In my last video, I talked about five trends in video marketing that you should think about. I'm gonna go in deeper and go one by one over the next few weeks. Today, starting with making your video searchable. Hi, I'm Paul Schmidt, the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And I wanna talk about the search engine or searchable aspects of making your video seen where you want it to be seen. Well, what does that exactly mean? It means that you have to fill out certain aspects when you're uploading your video to YouTube, to Vimeo, or whatever, to make sure that it can be found in the search engines. What do I mean by that even? Well, first of all, you really should come up with a nice catchy title that really describes what the video is. You're given a certain amount of characters to do that, and so thinking about that first and foremost. Secondly, you have to fill out your description. This allows you to add a little bit more that can be indexed by YouTube and or Google because Google likes video, and what do you know, Google owns YouTube. So, therefore, your video will be able to be searched through what you're putting into the description as well. The keywords section is not as important as you may think it is. It really is more important for uh, YouTube and Google to index it through the description and what's being said in the video. What do I mean by what's being said in the video? That's the next phase. You should think about adding closed captions. In fact, uploading your own captions that you create so therefore, names are spelled correctly. Well, anything that has a title to it is spelled correctly and so on so that, it, that it's accurate. And therefore, Google and YouTube can index from that as well. Now there's a couple different services you can use and that we use here at Unaduce to make sure that you do those well. Number one is Descript. And the thing is with Descript, which is a subscription service, not only does it create the captions, but it also can create a Word document that you can pull as well to add to your blogs on your website. So therefore you have the actual words of the video as a blog post as well. So that, that's another way that you can be searchable through Google is by doing that. The other service that we use is Rev, and we mostly use Rev for uh, captioning foreign languages. That's another thing you should think about going forward, especially if your audiences are those who use a different language other than English. Now that you've uploaded your video to YouTube and or Vimeo and filled out all the stuff that I said that you should, a good title or, and a great description, next is to upload the video you've uploaded to YouTube to Google My Business. I know this is, sounds counterproductive because Google owns Google My Business as well as YouTube. How come you cannot embed the video that you've already uploaded to YouTube into Google My Business? I have no answers for that. However, your Google My Business account is very important, especially when it comes to making your video searchable, making your profile searchable, and so on. And like I said, Google likes videos. However, for some reason, Google My Business does not like YouTube videos. Just for now, I'm sure it'll change, but it is another extra step that you have to put into play for your video to be searchable. There you have it. There are easy ways to make your video searchable and things that you need to do. And it's very crucial because video is important. You're doing it putting it out there. However, it's not one of those aspects of if you just throw it out there, it'll be found. No, there's certain aspects that you need to do to make sure that happens because if you're putting in all that work, people not seeing it or not finding it is a detriment to you and the time that you put in. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, as well as follow us on our blog. Uh, subscribe to our email newsletter because we want to hear from you and also in the comments let us know if you noticed something that was different from the beginning to now thanks for watching see you next time